All right, guys, this is Josh from East West Healing and Performance, and today I want to talk about the relationship between cortisol and progesterone. Cortisol is actually made from progesterone, and we could say progesterone is a precursor to cortisol. But before we get into this interesting information, don't forget to like this video, show us some support. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and show us a little more support. And don't forget for your benefit to click that notification button so every time we release a video every single week, you get notified. Let's jump in. Now, we know that the body, or maybe we don't know, anytime the body is stressed, we normally have stress in our life. It actually helps us build resiliency. As Hans Helier says, stress doesn't kill us. The reaction to stress or our reaction to stress actually kills us. And that really says a lot because if we meet our body's needs and we respond to things differently, that stress doesn't have the same effect versus if we don't meet our needs and we react. Now, anytime we're stressed, the body initially is gonna release, release adrenaline. And this is released under short term kind of micro stressors. It helps us kind of get into that hypervigilant fight or flight or state mode. Now it plays a role to help us adapt. It's normal, it's not a bad thing. The problem is when it's there all the time, it becomes a bad thing and we'll talk about that. Secondly is more the long-term chronic stress day after day, week after week, month after month. That's when cortisol comes in, right? It helps us regulate inflammation, helps us regulate our blood sugar, glucocorticoid, and, and so forth, blood pressure. Now, think about these hormones and what's going in the body and think about if we're not eating the right foods to meet our needs, if we have PMS, you know, if we have infertility, if we are pregnant, right, and the energy coming in doesn't meet what our body needs, then we go into this energetic debt. And this is where these stress hormones kind of come into play. Secondly, let's understand progesterone. Progesterone is actually produced by the corpse luteum post ovulation. Why? To thicken the wall of the uterus and, and really get it ready for embryonic implantation, increase fluids, etc. If you don't get pregnant, corpus, corpus luteum goes away, etc. Life goes on. But that's the that's the purpose of your cycle and ovulation is to really get ready for pregnancy. And of course, there's a lot of people, a lot of women nowadays struggling. Now, what is happening here? Because most people see low progesterone on their lab, and what do they do? I need progesterone. Well, first of all, most people are getting pushed towards synthetic. Now, this is a problem because it's not the same thing as the progesterone in our system. It's actually made from horses, urine, pregnant horses' urine. And it's been shown two things are happening here. Anytime adrenaline is present in the system from any sort of stress, it's going to block progesterone from getting in the cell and activating receptor sites. That's a problem. Number two, it's been shown that anytime we're taking synthetic progesterone, it's not gonna get into the cell and not activate the receptor sites. This is why a lot of people under chronic stressful situations that are taking progesterone, maybe see their levels go up, but don't see any change in fertility, don't see any change in PMS, don't see any change in their cycle, or when they take synthetics, they feel worse or don't see any change at all. The second thing that's actually happening here, which is a problem, is anytime we're in a chronic, chronic state, we have to understand its environment. We have to think about what's going into the system, right? We always like to blame food. I can't eat this food, it's the food's problem. We talk about histamine problems a lot, and the list goes on, food intolerances. But the problem is, let's take a step back and go, well, what is it going into? Is that system working, or is that system actually mismanaged physiologically. So if we put progesterone into chaotic, stressful system where adrenaline is high, what's happening now, the progesterone you're taking can't get in the cell, so it's not gonna do its job. I didn't feel anything. It didn't work for me, right? The list goes, it's not changing my lab values. Oh, you need to increase your dose now. No, what you're taking and the system's going into can't work because now it can't get in the cell because adrenaline is in the way. Secondly, what happens is, and this is based on the work of Dr. Hotz, anytime you put progesterone into a system, anytime you put progesterone in the system that is mismanaged in a chronically stressed state, that progesterone is gonna feed the cortisol pathway and increase cortisol. It's not gonna be used for progesterone, it's gonna increase cortisol to meet the demands of the state that you're in, that hypervigilant fight or flight state, trying to regulate your blood sugar, trying to meet your energy needs, your body's doing that for you because you're not doing it 
for your body. Remember, anytime the body's in a stress state, anytime the body's in a stress state, your body is going to adapt to try to meet your needs because you're not doing it. The problem is the very hormones that you're producing to help you with fertility, to help you with your mood, to help you with your libido, right? Everything in between is going to be diverted to put energy where it's needed. And that is to fight and flight. That is to survive. And that, not, that is not to survive. That is why you start seeing cycle issues, PMS, heavy bleeding, clotting, and fertility. Because all that progesterone and the substances that you're producing for fertility, mood, libido, etc., is being pushed into the pathways that need to overproduce cortisol to meet your body's needs because you're not doing so. So what happens is, simplified in this state, what you're producing is not being used. The hormones you're being produced are going to block the progesterone from being activated in receptor site, whether it's in your body or from the supplement you're taking, whether it's cream, sublingual, or a pill. And then third, if you start taking more progesterone, it's going to be diverted to be produced into excess cortisol to meet your body's needs. Now, what do we do? Well, there's a lot that needs to be done. Of course, this is what we do with our one-on-one -on -one coaching and our group online coaching. We work with people to create a different environment with food in a very strategic way to change their physiology from being in that stress state. But the most important thing that you can do right off the, the get-go, right, for everyone that's watching here on YouTube, is eat in a way to regulate your blood sugar. Because anytime your blood sugar drops, Stress response is initiated to regulate your needs. It's energy. We need the energy. It's not there. Your body's going to adapt. How do you regulate your blood sugar? Well, it's really eating metabolic foods, a protein and a carb with every meal, and eating as frequently as you can or what your body tells you to do during the day to create stability in your energy during the day versus these super highs and lows. The problem is people are waking up they're not having breakfast for two or three hours. They're drinking coffee first. And then they're maybe having lunch and having a huge dinner. You know, people are eating two to three meals a day. The problem is we're more stressed than ever. Most people should be eating four or five, six meals a day. Now, you got to go slow. If you're eating three, maybe add a fourth snack. If you're eating two, add a third snack. Go slow. But the fastest and easiest way to begin to get the ball rolling is to begin regulating your blood sugar. So you can bring that stress response down. Now, don't forget, in the description, you can download our 10 tips for thyroid health. You can join us on our free live thyroid reset. That's every other Friday where we can answer some of your questions and give you more information to help you maybe personalize this process. Thank you for tuning in. I'm out of here. Peace.